Hey guys, it's Tiff back and today I'm playing in my black Dilusions Square Journal. I believe these are still available um, in some places. I know they were marked down on clearance, I think at a few, but I have it linked in the Amazon links below. So this journal is black and um, I really like the shape of the Square Dilutions journals, <clears throat> or not really just because it's a Dilutions journal, but just the shape of square anyway. Um, I wanted to show you, <clears throat> I actually was just cleaning up. Yeah, I know, you can't tell it, but I was. And I came across one of my Click magazines, and I just stopped and started flipping through, and that's sometimes how inspiration if I can't like find I really wasn't looking for it today but if you can't find inspiration or you're like struggling or whatever like grab a magazine and see if something like pops off the page and this popped off the page to me this is um, a image by Stephanie DeFranco in New Mexico it looks like and She's talking about overcoming obstacles and um, physical scars. So that is half of the face is a photo. Half of the face is her today. I'm presuming. I didn't read the whole article. I just was really inspired by the whole image. So I know that is what I want to start my base off with. I may use this side too. And then I have to look at the back just to make sure there's nothing on here that I wanted to use. I really like that. But I think I can use that black side out. That's if I wanted to. So I already know that that's going to kind of, oh man, that just, like that tear and her story. I'm really liking that. All right, guys, I did you on a little bit of a fast forward, and now we'll go into voiceover mode. So I'm going to go ahead and trim out this image from the magazine just to get it um, where I can use it and kind of visualize what it looks like a little bit more. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving and um, enjoyed your family, and thanks for stopping in on this Monday with Tia. So, I have this eco-dyed piece of paper that kind of ripped in the pot. And so, the rip gave it a really nice, interesting area that I could tear it out and kind of frame this face out. Because the face is really the story and the emotion behind um, this photograph to me so I wanted to make sure that I was able to capture that and I really love how the grungy eco dyed rusty all of that I just like how it all looks together I was really some pages just come together very simply and this was one of those um, when you start with a really powerful image like that it makes um, my job of telling the story in my journal um, a lot easier. So look for powerful images as you look through magazines or um, you know wherever you find your some of your images that you use. And I'm gluing that down with the Uhu glue stick. And I like the dark um, dilutions. Um, journal and this dark image it kind of plays well together i noticed that the word strength was on part of um the little top of the magazine that i cut off there so i'm gonna tinker with the idea of playing with that and i don't know i just have this like enjoyment of like taking an image and breaking it off and then connecting it it's a tiff thing I don't know so this broken like line right there I really love hindsight I think it would be really cool to add stitching right there um but you know what I still like and when you're pushed for time you know this journal page is a perfect um you know it doesn't take a ton of time it all in it probably 
I'm sure it took less than 15 minutes. So I'm just going with my gut here. I wanted to add on masking tape, which is my spirit animal. You can laugh right about now. And I liked because of the end right there, how it was kind of a hard edge. Um, that masking tape kind of lended itself to blend in a little. And then I'm going to add it over in the corner as well as over here to the side just to break up and kind of blend in the page. I will use the, a blending stump to kind of um, grunge that up and make it a little more dramatic than just plain um, masking tape. And gluing that all in and I'm going to take I believe a charcoal pencil here in just a second and try to scrub it up just a little bit more than the blending stump could actually get for me I love how um, if you take the masking tape and you rip it up into several pieces um, it just I don't know just does something for me so we all have our little quirky things and masking tape usually shows up in all of my pages almost I'm going to do a few little light random scribbles around and then I am going, what am I going to do here? I can't remember. Oh, I'm going to take those words that I found the strength and I'm kind of like piddling with it just to see, but I felt like, long story short, I felt like the words were too small so strength is all this page really spoke to me like strength 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 being brave and having strength and i felt like the itty bitty word strength wasn't gonna get it so um i somehow in here my video i ran out of memory and then somebody texts me and you know how the story goes guys it was just a little bit every there and i think right now because we have this whole dead spot i think i thought that it was paused and it because my camcorder pauses and it really wasn't paused and then when i thought that i had unpaused it i was really pausing it so i'm taking a picture here just to kind of tinker with where the strength is and then i ended up not caring for the small words and i'm going to just go out on a whim and grab my Lyra Graphite water soluble pencil, the like real fat one that I use all the time. And I'm going to write strength in my handwriting at the bottom, which is a little bit scary. And yep, camera totally cut off, but you can see it there. Strength. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you will take the time to click the subscribe button. And don't forget to leave me a comment and a, th a thumbs up. I hope this has inspired you to get in that studio and make a big mess. Until next time, toodaloo!